Hey peeps, so I've had a lab. I actually managed to get out of labs early today though because we finished earlier than the lab ran on to. It's the end of labs. Actually, that was actually my last lab of this academic year because we don't do any physics labs next term in exam term. It might actually be my last lab of my degree, in fact, since next year I'm planning on doing astrophysics and there aren't any physics labs for astrophysics. It's all theoretical, which is quite exciting, I guess, because physics labs aren't my favorite. Sometimes they're a bit boring. <laughs> do you know what? Like, I feel like labs would be good if they were interesting, but because it's just really basic stuff, not very interesting equipment, you know exactly what it's going to do, it's all a bit boring. I feel like life in research would be more exciting because you're actually conducting experiments on something you're quite passionate about. So yeah, now I'm in my room, I've got quite a bit of work to do this evening. Also, the other exciting thing for today is it's pancake day. Obviously, we're making pancakes in my staircase. When I say we, someone else is making them and I will be eating them because, like, even basic things like pancakes, I, I don't think I could manage to make myself. It's pancake day and I've got the first pancake of the night. How very exciting. No, no maple syrup. No now, maple syrup. I've got to decide between lemon and sugar or Nutella. What did she decide? That was a long decision. She decided. She decided. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Nutella. Nutella. Hold on, hold on. Nutella. Nutella. I love Nutella. That seems like a very Oh my god! Here is the pancake making extraordinaire, Ella. Oh. Ooh. I've actually got a failed flip on my vlog from last year where it got oh, yeah. flipped onto the hob. <laughs> was that me? Um, I think it was you. Oh, oh fantastic. I've improved. I think it was you, yeah. Pretty and then nice. the pancake burned. We cooked this and last year, smoke. right? <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're going to do a little... Yeah. Yeah, oh, and I'll try and slide. There we go. Oh. A few cracks, but it's a first time attempt, so... Three. Two. This will be like, do you know the basketball one? <laughs> okay, so, if you... Oh, I did it! I did it! <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll make some blue. Wow! <laughs> but you tell us down fast. Okay, I'm going to try again. Well, I'm on too nervous. Yes. Hey, that, that works! <laughs> That's the end! <laughs> Hey guys, I just wanted to jump in and say that today's laundry segment is very kindly sponsored by Skillshare, which is an online learning community. They have over 25,000 different classes that you can sign up to and different communities you can join, whether that's in business, whether that's in design or just some other area altogether. I've been meaning to teach myself how to use Final Cut Pro 10, the editing program for absolutely ages, but Skillshare have a class which literally breaks it down step by step. It's actually a godsend doing these classes is a great break from revision at the moment so that's a thumbs up from me they do have a premium membership option which gives you unlimited access to all the classes they have available I can pretty much guarantee you that every person will find something that interests them on this site and I think it's a great way a productive way to spend your free time excitingly Skillshare are giving a free two-month unlimited access trial to the first 500 people who click the link in my description box below and after that it's only $10 per month. Thank you very much Skillshare for sponsoring this segment and yeah take it away Paige with the laundry. Hello everyone welcome to this week's laundry segment. I've got a new guest star today. <laughs> Introduce yourself. Hi I'm Emma. I study English. As per I've got my big laundry bag. Tips for GCSEs. Ooh tips for GCSEs. They're coming up soon. Yes oh goodness I remember revising for my GCSEs. I'd say don't put off revising the subjects that you know you dislike the most because they're probably the ones you need to give more attention to. Um, I know I really struggle with science and maths, so I put a lot of time and effort into those even though I knew I disliked it because I knew I struggled with them the most. Scheduling as well, we were talking about this today actually, Will, Will you and I were talking about revision timetables. Um, I know my school sent out like A3 revision timetables that we had to read. <laughs> oh so maybe God. make one of those yourself. I'm actually going to make one, you know, yeah, this no, Easter holiday. I need to, and then force myself to stick to it. That's going to be so annoying in the back of the video. I know. <laughs> it was like, just beforehand, I've got to put some stuff in the tumble dryer. And I was like, oh. <laughs> Yeah, my stuff's there. I forgot I even put it in. Is that yours? Like, yeah. Who's, who's is that? <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> What's your favourite book? It changes all the time. Like, as soon as I read something new, I'm like, oh, this is my new favourite book. I do like Easter Beaten by John Steinbeck. Really good. Um, 1984. George Orwell. I feel like I'm just going to list a bunch of like classics like Charlotte Bronte, Jane Eyre, um, 
Why do you really like this to be? It's a good one. Is an unsweet and unique worth it? 100%. No one wants to share a bathroom with Will next year. I do not want so to share a bathroom with Will next year. We're going to share a bathroom next year. Yes, we are. Girls' yeah. bathroom. Yeah. How do you balance your social and study life? This is such a good question, and it's something I actually really struggled with in first year. I worked far too much and didn't give myself enough downtime. I come back to the attitude that I need to make more time um, for social life. So I think the key thing is to work during the day, you know, start, have an early start, work consistently. If I feel my productivity slipping, I'll give myself a break rather than trying to push through and work through the tiredness. So for the most part, I can chill after dinner. I think also like scheduled social time, which sounds stupid, but knowing I have Jesus Singers every Sunday, 2.30 till 4, I know that's my scheduled in fun time and I will go to it. Because I'm, I have a terrible habit of saying, oh yeah, I'll make time for that. And then when someone's like, oh, are you free? I'm like, no, I can't. I've got a busy schedule this week. So, 30 degrees, cottons. Start. Bye. Bye. Hey, everyone. So, I don't know when I last spoke to you, but it is Wednesday afternoon now. And I've had lectures this morning. Life has been ticking along as per usual. I am just doing some supervision work and then I've got a formal this evening with my staircase. We're all going for dinner in hall. It's going to be really nice and yeah, I actually forgot it was happening and then like I woke up in the middle of the night last night and suddenly it came to me. I was like, wait, oh my god, I booked a formal with my staircase this evening. Yeah, I mean, I was banking on having this evening to do work, but it turns out I'm not going to because I've chosen to go to formal instead, but... I feel like I'm on top of things. If I get this supervision work done this afternoon, then we're all good. Hello everyone, so I'm at formal this evening. Here are all my friends, minus Will, who has gone to buy another bottle of wine. He doesn't need it. They've changed the menu, which is outrageous. I was looking forward to my bruschetta and like the menu was just looking really good. And like now it's, it's subpar, but we'll deal. Oh, look who's back. Emma, how is giving up meat for Lent going? <laughs> Good, I'm on the veggie option. Yay! <laughs> this must be the... Oh, why have I given up meat? <laughs> <laughs> we that that video. <laughs> We've just finished the main course. It was very tasty. Everyone is having fun. It's actually really nice to have an evening socializing with everyone. I don't have anything to say. Hello, fans. I love you. I know you love me. Give him a kiss. Give him a kiss. Mwah. That's my fans. Fans need to know that every little bit of respect that you give me, I, I give you so much more back. And, um, you know, I love you all. So we all just want to say, we appreciate you guys watching. <laughs> Thank you. you. I appreciate it more. Okay, so we're going to sign off here. Take it. I can't hold it. So I'm sitting next to someone who is no longer my friend. Oh, no. Like, no longer your whatever. friend. Yeah, Will stole my phone and didn't give it back for a very long time. Um, it's hard to forgive. So, yeah, like, bye-bye. Um, <laughs> all has been good. Um, we... Uh, just having our teas and coffees. How's your tea, by the way? <laughs> My tea, I never really drink much of the tea, but I just accept it anyway. I don't have coffee at this time because sometimes I normally want to go to bed. We're probably going out after this. Um, let me show you around the hall, actually. Let me show you some portraits. And welcome to the Page Y tour of the portraits of the Jesus College Hall. Not gonna lie, we're not totally sure of the names of all these people, but they are all past masters of the college, along with Henry VIII down the end. Who's the guy up there? Oh, we know him. He's stern, right? After a year and a half, I have turned Tim's tide. Since Rainbow Robinson mm -hmm. from 2018, I've had his tide and he's had mine. But today, What's today that? is the day I return his tide to his right owner, And I returned mine. He returned mine. To me. The ties are in the rightful place. Yeah, they are. It was a good tie. You had a good tie. I, like I have a good tie now because it's my tie. Tough, to be honest. My I tie is just... better than this. This yeah. is a this is a yeah. tie. Wow. <laughs> I did I... you wear this tie much or not? I wore his quite a lot. Um, <laughs> you I did wear it a lot. I would go, go. <laughs> you'd wear it a lot, and I'd go, hey, that's my tie. That would happen a lot. You know what? No more. No more.
because my tie is in my possession mm -hmm. where it should be. Let's make tie swaps a thing. So if you have swaps. a friend, swap ties with your friend. Don't swap ties. No, you do if they have better ties. For I, a want year. Like, I want the time like for twice. For a year, you have twice. to swap ties. For a year and a half. Hello, hello. So it is Thursday. Slightly different schedule to usual. I have got two supervisions today and rowing races bumps, which I will explain the rules to later for people who don't know about how bumps work. But yeah, I also have two one hour long supervisions. So I'm just heading to one now. And then that's it for the day. It's always the most awkward thing when someone walks around the corner and I'm vlogging. <laughs> and they give me a look and I'm like. Okay, so I'm back in my room and now I have about an hour until I have to head to the boathouse for my rowing race this afternoon. So let me do a very quick rundown of what bumps is for those of you who haven't seen my previous vlogs or just aren't aware of the rowing races we do in Cambridge. There's a set of rowing races, they're called bumps. All that Cambridge colleges take part, so each different college has its like own boat club, so I'm part of the Jesus College Boat Club. All the boats in one division all are lined up along the river and then they all start rowing at the same time when a cannon goes off and the aim is to bump into the boat in front of you. Each division rows every day for like four days on the trot. Because these rowing races happen during the week, during term time, in afternoons, it's actually quite hard to make these rowing races. So I wasn't able to cox my crew in the first race of bumps this week because I had a physics lab and I was stuck in the lab all day. But what can you do? This is actually today my first day of bumps because it was a day off yesterday. Essentially, this is my crew's second day of racing today. And then we also race tomorrow and the day after. But I'm really nervous because the wind outside is, it's actually ridiculous. Like if this were a normal day and crews were just having rowing outings, my crew wouldn't be allowed to go out because it was too windy. But because it's the races, like obviously they're letting them go ahead. But it's just gonna be chaos because as you can imagine, when all these crews are rowing fast to try and bump into the crew in front, you're gonna have crews moving faster than others. Crews rowing really fast into your crew at race pace and you know safety comes into it a lot i all the coxes have had safety briefings i'm a cox if i didn't mention that by the way so i don't actually row i, I steer the boat and i shout at the crew also a lot of the safety of myself my crew and other boats around me is kind of on me just the wind adds another another factor and this just doesn't it's not great but the thing is these races are supposed to be fun so i should just try and enjoy them and i did bumps last year in the summer the weather was a lot nicer than this i have to say and <laughs> but it was really really fun last year so guys take a look at how fast the water is moving here yes this is what we had to race in and this isn't even the worst of it look at that flag blowing when you got onto the reach the big fat part of the river, there were waves going on. Not to be dramatic, but I thought we might sink at one point. But anyway, it all went okay. Hello everyone, so I'm back from my rowing race and we rowed over, which means the crew behind us did not bump us, but we did not bump the crew in front and we just rowed the whole course. But that's fine, that's actually what we were hoping for today since the crew in front is definitely faster than us. Overall, a success. But oh my god, so you know I said it was windy, yeah? It's like next level windy. Honestly, there were waves on the river. It was really tough, like we were going down this course and like literally everyone was missing strokes left, right and centre and like literally the rowing was absolute shambles. But the thing is it was the same for every crew because every crew had this massive wind on them. Like it was just impossible. I was making calls and I was like, I don't know how to fix this situation. <laughs> the start could have ended in disaster, honestly. We started off in the complete wrong angle. I had flashbacks to last year when we went straight into the bank off the start and I was like, that's not happening again. So all was well, all was well. Now I need to take a shower because honestly I am soaked. Like literally I was sitting in a puddle in like a big pool of river water by the time the race finished. To be honest, I was sitting in a pool of river water before the race started. A nice 
warm shower as needed. Oh, that weather was horrible. Like, so windy. It's been raining. It was just disgusting. So I had the most glorious warm shower, recovered from my ordeal, and then got some workout and tried to make up for the fact that I'd been on the river for the most of the afternoon. Hey, 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 people. So I am just making myself a microwave meal. It's all very exciting. I've just been on a late night Sainsbury's trip. I've got myself chicken tikka masala, no rice because I don't like rice. So I picked one specifically with no rice and to go with some Bombay potatoes. May not be the most nutritious, healthiest meal I've ever had, but it will do. I had a supervision while calf dinner was on so I have not been able to go and buy dinner from the college cafeteria as I normally do and I came back and I was like well I don't want another toasty today I don't just want to have toast for dinner I want a meal so I went out and bought myself something to heat up I reckon I can manage this microwave meal then I'm gonna go upstairs eat it ring my parents then I'm gonna do some work on a powerpoint presentation this evening because Next week I've got a presentation of my extended investigation that we've been doing in physics labs. It's not worth much of our final grade, but like I should put some effort into it. Also it's a team thing and we said we'd have it done by Friday. So I really should have it done by tomorrow morning. <laughs> okay, so we may have spoke too soon and we are having issues with the microwave. Like <laughs> every time I press start, I swear I've set the timer. Oh, oh, this is more like it. Oh! How clever am I? Can work a microwave. And here was my dinner. I was pretty proud of myself for this. Look, Mum, I can cook! Hello, peeps. So it is quite late in the evening now, and I am stopping working and going to bed then i've got lectures tomorrow morning and then oh my god i'm gonna have to leave lectures early i'm gonna have to skip like three quarters of a lecture to be honest i don't even know whether it's worth going to the first quarter so basically i've got bumps i've got to be at the bow house for 12 30 and my lecture goes on till one i feel like it's okay to miss it i haven't missed any other lectures so far this term apart from the ones that i missed for my internship interview. I mean, I'm gonna catch it up straight away, so it should be fine. And then yeah, after rowing races, then that's me done for the day, except I wanna make sure I get a fair bit of work done. As we approach the end of term, I've got lots of fun things coming up and I'm at risk of just kind of forgetting that I've still got work to do, you know? And I really should get that work done. Hello everyone, so the second lecture of the morning is about to start and then I'm going to skip like half of my third lecture. Oh, dun dun dun, to go rowing. Oh dear. Here is me and my crew mid-race. I'm the person on the far left who doesn't have a blade since I'm just sitting there shouting at them. We did have another crew close on our tail the whole way through, but we managed to get away from them and hold our own, and it was really fun. Come on, girls! Hello, everyone. Sorry for the lack of updates. I am very, very tired and worn out. It is now late afternoon. In fact, it is almost five o'clock. I actually only just got back from the river. So we had our division, we rowed over, i.e. didn't get bumped, didn't bump the boat in front, which is, you know, quite good, quite pleased, probably the best we could hope for, so that's good. And then I cycled and watched one of the other divisions as well, which was exciting to watch. Although quite tiring, like they were rowing fast, like I had to cycle fast to keep up with them. <laughs> so now I'm quite worn out. I'm gonna go to calf dinner, I'm so hungry, like I've literally skipped lunch, so I've barely had anything to eat today. Oh, I need to do some washing, oh there's so much to do. So we're all at calf, I'm really hungry. Calf is five minutes late, as you can see, the door is closed, we're not allowed in. It's really sad because I'm so hungry. However, when I did get my food, it did not disappoint. Chili with tortilla chips, yes please. Hey everyone, so I'm in my room. I'm really tired. I think I'm going to go to bed now. I've literally spent the evening just editing. I also think I'm getting ill, like I can feel my voice going a little bit. And it's not ideal because I've just been doing voiceover for one of my videos that I've been editing 
And I could do with like my voice being on point. I think I'm just going to go to bed and maybe I'll wake up in the morning and feel better. I think I'm just tired as well, which adds to it. And maybe, just maybe, it might have had something to do with the fact that I was coxing and shouting for two days on the trot in those rowing races. Just a thought. Good morning, everyone. So today I'm literally swimming in quantum mechanics questions. <laughs> Uh, pray for me oh my god there's so much to do you have no idea and so many lecture notes like literally there seems to be like a new handout every single lecture um oh my goodness me trouble is i've got bumps today but it's the last day so after this it's good and then i've got boat club dinner this evening but yeah no just a bit worried about getting all my work done but it's fine it's actually not due until tomorrow evening so hopefully i'll have most of tomorrow to get going on it as well. I think I'm gonna go have a shower at this point and panic about my quantum questions while I get ready for the day. Um, <laughs> yeah. Hello everyone, <laughs> welcome to the brunch queue. Oh, She's She's she gonna make it, she ate it. Far away. <laughs> So we thought we'd be clever this morning and we got here 10 whole minutes early for brunch because you know brunch is very popular but obviously everyone else had the same idea. So we've got a bit of a wait but it's fine, it's worth it for the brunch. Vlog the brunch! Vlog the brunch! Vlog the brunch! <laughs> Hello everyone, made it through the queue. Oh my god that took forever. It's almost 25 past 11 and we arrived at like 10 to 11. But it looks good, it looks tasty. Also exciting times, we're sitting at the high tables because we are that important and yeah. Some, Look at that fried egg. There's some yolk in it. I'm so upset. Where's the nice runny yolk at? Hey, hey everyone. So I've just got back from brunch and I'm gonna get changed quickly now into my clothes for coxing. Last day of bumps. Yeah, I'm excited. I don't really wanna get bumped, but uh, I think it might be inevitable at this point. Also, it's windy which is just great. <laughs> Here was the scene before the race. It's always quite tense at this point and it's under this bridge here that they set off the cannon to get everyone to start rowing. And here I am after the race and it was my last time in the boathouse for a while since I'm not coxing next term so I was a little sad about it. Hey everyone, so I'm just about to head off to boat club dinner or to be precise I'm actually going to the pre-drinks first which are in college in Upper Hall and then our actual dinner is outside of college this term. There was a bit of a double booking with the hall so it wasn't initially intended but we're actually relocating to a restaurant outside of college so we're going to all walk over there, have a nice meal and then a bop party thing after the meal and then we'll probably head to spoons, weather spoons um, for club night afterwards. I don't know whether I'll go, I'm still kind of debating. Like I would usually be very much up for it, but it's just I've got quite a lot of work to do. I've managed to get a bit behind this week because of all the rowing I've been doing. So we'll see. But anyway, let me just show you my outfit quickly. I'm wearing my coat because it's cold and we've got to walk to a restaurant. So I'm just gonna take the coat with me. Here's me, leopard print trousers, black heels and my black bodysuit with like sparkly bits on there, like a neck like that. You can't really see it, but anyway, I've got to go because I'm running late. At the pre-dinner drinks, we also always have crew photos. So here is my crew. And then it was time for the actual dinner. Starter was chicken with pear and rocket, sesame and ginger dressing. And the main was beef and Cambridgeshire ale pie with buttered new potatoes and cabbage. Dessert was chocolate brownie and they even took my request for no ice cream. This meal was a dream. And then it was time for a lot of speeches, so here were the words that were said about my crew. It's been quite a trying term, I'd say, for W2. With the amount of yellow flags we had, you guys absolutely smashed these lead bumps. I couldn't be more proud of you. Couldn't be happier to sub into any crew other than you guys. So well done for that. <laughs> Uh, to Abby for thank you for being such an amazing coach. Every single day you put up a fight, so that was amazing. It was amazing to see you like smash it down the course, and every day we said we weren't going to be robbed. And after dinner, it was time for a bit of a party. Yeah. 
Hello, so the update is I had a really lovely time at boat club dinner and then there was an after party kind of thing and then everyone headed to Spoons at which point I was like, wait, I didn't put my ID in and ID is very much a necessity for when you go into a club and I was like, ah. And then it was the kind of decision of whether I was going to come back, get my ID and then go to Spoons or just come back and go to bed and to be honest, I've got so much work to do. I don't want to have to trek out back to Spoons by myself at this time. So I think I'm just gonna stay here. <laughs> and that's it for this vlog. Thank you very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Stay tuned to see more of my end of term antics in my next vlog and also how I'm preparing for my upcoming exams. Yeah, see you soon. Bye.